to another carpet cleaner review review video. Now this is going to be kind of a reshoot, so you can call. I'm going to be reviewing the IPS Pro Sprayer, so you can call it the Review 2.0 if you want. More than likely, this video will probably rep replace my first IPS Pro video or review. Um, mostly because at that time I did get a chance to use it, but since the filming of that video, I've used it just a ton more and got more familiar with it. So I think it warranted either a revisit or just a reshoot of the review on it. The reason I that's one of the reasons. The other reason is a lot of the reviews I see are unboxing videos or the other videos I have seen on YouTube all have to do with somebody that's either affiliated with the product, sells it, or is a creator or of something of that nature. So I will say this ahead of time. I'm not affiliated with this product. I do not sell it because I don't sell any products <laughs> other than services. And so I'm trying to get an unbiased, give you an unbiased opinion. Now, with that being said, my process may be different than yours, which would apply more to pre-sprays and other stuff I, uh, I talk about or review. But, and on this one especially, it might be the case of the one I got. So, where I'm going to start with this video is where I started with the other one when I received it. When I received it, I thought the packaging, the packaging was lackluster and just looked cheap. It looked cheap. It looked like a Harbor Freight tool. Um... You know, I, I will say that the design on it is terrible. It's not, uh, to me, it's not appealing. Um, it looks reminiscent of the old battery power drills you got in the 90s from like Black & Decker. But with all that being said, looks are subjective. And you know what? If they painted a rainbow and a unicorn on the side and it worked, I would still use it. So that aside, we're going to go into the good of it now. The good of it, good of it and, the, and the, where the, what's in his wheelhouse for this sprayer is its versatility. Now, I use, uh, my biggest pump-up sprayer I use on my van is three gallons. Now, I can go into an area and be using my three-gallon sprayer, and I can just switch a route right to a spotter or whatever whatever reason I would need to switch to a different spray or whatever. I can You can go all the way to, like, a, a one-liter bottle and just actually directly screw it on here with the hose they do send. So the versatility is the key. To this and that's the selling point of this um, battery powered sprayer now with that being said that's the only good thing i have to say about this so i'm sorry if this i know doing some of these reviews i am going to rub some people the wrong way that maybe do sell these but i'm sorry i cannot lie to you people and i'm not going to so let's get into the bad first of all for the price of this tool usually on 220 230-ish plus shipping there should not be a nicad battery on this tool so that's a big fail for me. Have I had any issues with the battery? Not yet. But like I said, even with the older cordless batteries, with the NICAD batteries, it's going to come. These these are going to fail. And for the price they're charging for these, there's no need to be a NICAD battery on here. So that's kind of a, a strike there. But with that being said, I also put that disclaimer on there. I have not had a problem with them charging yet. But the longevity of these batteries is well known and that is why a lot of tool manufacturers that go cordless do not use NICADs. That's why a lot of even RC cars, if you're more into that hair hobby, do not use NICAD batteries no more if you're in this series. So, so right there is a strike. This is not, That tells me it's not a professional tool. Um, other problem with this, a lot of leaking here and I've seen that in other videos where people have had or other videos in other discussions where people have had problems with it leaking right here. Now they do put this little shroud thing on here, it spins, and the only thing I found, the only reason for that is to keep you out of here, and rightfully so. So I'll put this disclaimer, I've already avoided my warranty, and if you have any issues, I would strongly suggest you send it back, but I'm impatient, don't want to wait for it all the time. So I did take this off, in, out of here, this yellow part, and I just used it a little while ago, but, and what you're going to find in here. Because I was just assuming that maybe the O-ring didn't seat right or something was happening. So I did take it out. And to my surprise, how they have that in there, I can see this is going to be a problem for quite a few people. And I was surprised it came out as easy as it did. Because once you get this out on the threads going in, you're going to find it's covered in CA glue along with the O-ring or uh, super glue. And so, I mean, that's a one-shot deal. If you're going to tighten that in there with a bunch of super glue all over the O-ring, all over the thing, and that doesn't seat right, that's glued in place. That just reeks of garbage to me. 
So what I did is I just put some plumber's tape on it, took the O-ring completely out because it was shot. It was full of uh, super glue. Just put some good old plumber's or Teflon tape, I should say, on there. Screwed it back in. Haven't had a problem with that leaking since. The second issue, these tips. Now, these tips do leak a little bit. They will leak out the backside. I've had that issue with this tip. The problem is, if you have techs, they're going to see that. They're going to try to tighten this on there hard. You're going to skip the threads and mix, and it's going to be shot. You're not going to be able to get it on there again. Well, you'll be able to get it on there, but it's never going to. It's going to leak like a sieve then. Which brings me to another point I don't like. I don't like all this plastic in here. These plastic threads, plastic inserts. Guys, this is a 230, around 230-ish tool. And this is supposed to be a, I'm assuming it's a professional tool. It says pro on it. This, these should be brass, plain and simple. So that is a lot of the problems I have with this. This tool is made cheaply. It is cut and dry. You're not going to go... You're not going to go down to anywhere and buy a drill set or a professional grade drill with an ICAD battery with plastic parts that are super glued in. Okay? You're going to be mad. Am I a little upset about the tool? Absolutely. It, it's very underwhelming. And the problems, you just it's annoying. Even if you have that rod extension on here, or that brass uh, wand extension they send, the problem is you'll be spraying, and the tip, you'll spray, spray, spray. You know, it'll be longer. And you'll just go, bloop. You put it back on, try to figure out what's going on, and it'll just go, bloop. You know, you'll spray for a while, and it'll just fall off. So, in all reality, the fun, the idea of this tool was a better idea than how they designed this tool. Um, maybe it was a price point thing where they're trying to come in under a certain pr price to not be as much as a normal electric sprayer. But and maybe this is just a case where I didn't get a good sprayer. But I'm going to say it fails um, to me. It, it fails for the price point. Now, if this was maybe $100 or $150, maybe I could look past some of these things. This is a $230 piece of equipment. It's supposed to be professional grade. And that's where the problem happens with me. And the super glue thing really did bother me. So I don't know where it's made. <laughs> I suppose I should look. But I'm sorry, guys. I would skip on this. I'm sure they, they do sell an upgraded O-ring kit, which <laughs> they should just give you for free if you have problems anywhere else on it, like some people. And maybe they'll come up with the Pro XL where they're going to actually fix all these little problems, but they're going to charge more for it. So for the price point, I would say skip this. Um, so now I'm going to have to figure out a way to actually, I'm going to modify this a little bit to make it a little more suiting for what I do. And like I said, this could be an isolated case. Um, I don't see a lot of videos that go more off, off the, like I said, other than unboxing or somebody that sells it or is affiliated with this product. So I really wanted this thing to work great and it, it does work to a point, but it's not a professional grade tool. The idea, like I said, the idea of it's great. The idea is better than the design of it or what they used in it. And the problem is these little changes that they need to make would make this thing probably lights out great. So if there's anybody that manufactures or sees these, please take my suggestions. Um, get some, get rid of the plastic fittings on it and get rid of those NICAD batteries. If you're going to charge that much, shame on you because that's really not a, at least put, get rid of the plastic fittings. Okay, then maybe I can accept the, the NICAD batteries on it. But that's my review. Maybe you disagree, but I'm going to leave it at that and we'll see you guys on the forums.